Docker Compose is a tool where we can describe all microservices in one single YAML file and we can quickly set up dev and test environments. For example, we have uh, 15 microservices in our application and we want to set up all these 15 microservices on a single machine for uh, testing team to test. It would be difficult to manually uh, run all these services one by one and the easiest way would be describe all the services into one single YAML file and bring them up set up all those microservices with a single command that is what docker compose does so this video let's see how to install docker compose and i will take one example where we have two microservices let's describe those microservices into a yaml and let's set up those microservices using docker compose a point to note we use doc compose basically to set up all microservices on a single host usually uh, it is used for setting up dev or test environments for this demonstration i have taken one ec2 instance in the cloud ec2 is nothing but a virtual machine in amazon web services let's connect to this uh, virtual machine and quickly see how docker compose works let's ssh into this vm let's install a docker on this followed by doc compose i have already installed docker on this uh, if you want to know how to install docker on linux machine this is the command this command will install docker on this machine it's already there so i'm not doing it the next thing is we have to install docker compose explicitly docker compose will not come along with docker installation let's see docker documentation for installing docker compose yeah this is a one let's see how to install the compose on Linux machine. Uh, let's uh, simply follow these steps. Copy that. Okay. Let's go to step two. Uh, we have to apply that executable permission. right let's see what's next so i don't want this step 3 because it's optional now we can directly check docker compose version and make sure docker compose is successfully installed yeah so docker compose is successfully installed now let's see let's take one docker compose yaml file and let's describe all microservices in that and let's set up those microservices with single command i have kept one docker compose file in my git repository uh, you can take this link and uh, get this file let's let me open this uh, it has few details like version and we are describing the services this is one microservice and the second microservice I want these two microservices to communicate on a single host for that i am creating one network and the driver for this network is bridge okay so if i take this file and if i use docker compose and execute it will automatically set up these two microservices and it will also create a docker a network with bridge driver and make these two services to communicate with each other let's say we have 15 or 20 microservices we can describe all 15 20 microservices into this yaml file along with all its details like port mapping networking volumes environment variables whatnot everything and in one single command your services are up and running
okay so let me uh, download this file onto my uh, docker host uh, let me click raw and let me copy this link and let me download this file onto my docker machine uh, let's use wget and give that link yeah yes we got this docker compose file here uh, before executing docker compose command we should make sure the current user has uh, access to docker so right now we are using sudo for docker commands like this we are saying sudo docker sorry service docker status so uh, before executing docker compose command uh, we want to make sure our current user has uh, permissions to run docker commands let's do that with help of uh, following command this command will add ec2 user to docker group such that ec2 user will have permissions to call docker directly without help of sudo okay and we need to log out and log in for these changes to take effect let me log out from this mission and let me re-login after logging in uh, let's check whether ec2 user is able to access docker without sudo for example yeah see that i'm able to run docker commands without help of sudo now we want to use docker compose and set up those two microservices we downloaded before docker compose app hyphen d run everything in the background see that it quickly created the network and it quickly created two services which is reddish and python see how easy it is and how efficient it is to uh, set up dev and test environments so by default docker compose picks this file name docker compose.yaml let's say we are using different file name then in that case we need to mention that file name with help of iphone f and the file name uh, instead of uh, docker compose.yaml and let's say you want to uh, delete the complete setup the command is docker down it's going to stop all your services and remove those containers plus it's also removing the network used by both the containers so this is how docker compose works thanks for watching